That's right. Finish it out, Hawk. And on the side of the oppressors, there was power. And they have all the power. Uh -huh. See, our oppressors have the power right now. We need to realize why we're being gunned down every day. Psalms 12 and 8. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 12 and verse 8. Give me Job 9 and 24. The wicked walk on every side. What did the Lord say? The wicked walk on every side. Everywhere we go, That's the right. wicked is around us. Everywhere we go, every time we walk out our front door, no matter where we're at, there's wickedness. Uh -huh. The Bible says the wicked walk on every side. That's Read. Right. When the vilest men are exalted. When the vilest men are exalted. And that's what you see. All that's these right. rulers in this wicked kingdom are wicked. That's okay? right. They're exalted. These wicked men, these presidents running all these countries. And go figure, we're being gunned down and being oppressed. Uh, uh, real quick, give me uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. Uh, Proverbs 29 and 2, before you get Job 9 and 24. This is the book of Proverbs. Chapter 29 and verse 2. Read. When the righteous are in authority, uh -huh. the people rejoice. The Bible says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Read. But the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Read that again. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. The Lord says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. That's Read. Right. But... When the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. But when the wicked are in rulership, when they rule in these kingdoms, uh -huh. the Bible says the people are going to mourn. Amen. That's, right. That's what's happening. That is why we are a sad people. Uh -huh. Why we're being oppressed and stuck at the bottom. Why we're being subjugated to the enemy is because the wicked are in rule. Uh -huh. Okay, bring that out. Job 9 and 24. And give me Psalm 58 3. Job 9 and 24. Uh huh. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. This is why the Bible says that the earth has been given into their hand. The wicked are ruling this world. Read. Uh, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered up the faces of the judges thereof. He gave us the Cesar Borgier, the so-called white man, and said that he's the anointed savior. Okay? They completely whitewashed the true images the true people, the true Israelites That's of right. the Bible, and put up their images and said that they are the people of the book. They whitewashed everything. Read. If not, where and who is he? And if it isn't them, who the heck is it? That's if right. it's not the so-called white man, who is the wicked of the earth? There has been no other race of people that have done more raping, robbing, and murdering than the Europeans. The out. Caucasians, the descendants of Esau, That's Edom, right. the same people that continue to That's gun us down right. every single day. Right. Psalms 58 and 3. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 58 and verse 3. Romans 9 and 22. The wicked are estranged from the womb. The Bible says the wicked come out wicked. As soon right. as they're born, they are wicked. Read. That's right. They go astray as soon as they be born. From the moment they come out, they plan to do evil. It's already established in their spirit to be who they are. Wicked vessels. Give me That's Romans right. 9 and 22. That's right. Speaking lies. Speaking lies. They come That's out right. speaking lies. Ah. They're wicked from the womb, the Bible says. The Lord has designed them to be this way. That's right. This is what we need to understand. When we're over here trying to hold hands with our oppressor, ah. we need to understand the Bible says that they were wicked from birth. That's right. From the very moment they came out. That's Shalom, right. King. How you doing, brother? You got a minute for the word of God? All right, all right. You and Israelite, most likely, brother, do some research, all right? Go ahead, King, bring that out. Romans 9 and 20, uh, 24. 22, 22. Romans 9 and 22. What if God willing to show his wrath and to make his power known? The Bible says, what if God wanted to show his wrath to make his power known? Uh -huh. Read. With much long suffering, uh -huh. the vessels of wrath fit into destruction. The Lord said that He made vessels of wrath fitted for destruction. Uh -huh. In other words, He said He created them to be this way. Uh -huh. Okay? They're not our friends, they're the adversary that the Bible speaks of. He said He made them, designed them to be wicked. They're vessels of, des of destruction, vessels of wrath. Children of the flesh, okay? You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, you are the children of the promise. That's right. The children of the covenant. But you, if you continue to try to hold hands with these people, they're going to continue 
to lash out at you. Where's that at? Uh, Ciroc 12. So give me that real quick. Ciroc 12 and 10. Ah, uh, Never trust an enemy and go down to who will pity the snake turn. Ciroc 12. Start at 10. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach. Read really? chapter, chapter 10 and verse 12. 12. 12 and 10. Are, oh, Sirach. Uh, chapter 12 and verse 10. God. Never trust thine enemy. Sometimes. Never trust thine enemy. It's okay to do it. Never trust thine enemy. The Lord said, never trust thine enemies. Uh -huh. Read. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Uh-huh. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. He said, though he humble himself and go crouching, beware of him. You see, you got all these sheriffs, okay, these politicians. Every time a brother gets shot down in the street, you uh -huh. see this Edomite stand up on TV saying, oh, we feel so bad for the family. We're going to do everything we can to bring justice. They lying. That's the Bible right. says that they wicked from the womb. That's Bring right. it out, Ike. We don't need to trust them. The Bible says never trust thine enemy. Read. Bring it out, Ike. And thou shalt be unto him Every as Saturday. if thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. The Lord said you shall see that his rust is still there. Mm -hmm. You might wipe away the rust. And, and, and that metal might be polished and shiny and smile back at you. But the Bible says, rest assured, that rust will come back. Uh, it will return. And the Lord is saying, these enemies, these adversaries, uh, particularly the so-called white men, the Edomites, right. the Bible says, never trust them. Right. Don't be fooled by their smooth words. Okay, read. Set him not by thee. What the Lord say? Set him not by by he said, don't, don't, don't hold hands with them. Don't sit by them. Don't think that they're for you. No matter what they say, no matter what they do. I don't care if they try to hug you, have babies with you, kiss you, whatever the case may be. The Bible says their rust will expose itself. Read. Uh, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. You see that? He'll try to overcome you to take rulership. And this is what they've exhibited in the history of the world. To step on the children of Israel to conquer us and become the rulers of this wicked kingdom. Mm -hmm. Read. Uh, neither let him sit at thy right hand, uh -huh. lest he seek to take thy seat. You see that? Because they plot and scheme. Plot and scheme, hey, scheme so and plot. Brother. That's all they continue to do. Okay, read. And thou, at the last, remember my word. He says, and then you're going to see. If you don't listen to me now, you're going to find out then. You try to hold hands with them right now, and it's all good in your eyes, just wait and watch. See what happens, and then you're going to remember what I warned you. This is what the Lord says. Read. And thou, at the last, remember my words, and be pricked therewith. And then he go, they're going to get you. They're going to bite you in the end. Okay? Read. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? The Lord says, who pities a snake charmer? If you're playing with snakes and you get bit, that's your fault. Uh, uh, you don't show no pity to a snake charmer. Uh, what's that What's that one dude's name? Uh, Steve Irwin. Okay, uh, putting his right. hands in the alligator's mouth. Yeah, that's right. That's right. right. Crocodile hunter. Uh -huh. Is it a shock that he got killed by an animal? Look at there go one right there. Let's go get him. That's what he do. Go chase down an animal and then get bit by him every time, right? Go figure. Bring it out, Ike. the snake charmer. In other words, the Lord is saying these people, these enemies, these adversaries, if you hanging with them and you get bit, you ain't getting no pity. That's right. The Lord said his word you're going to remember in that day when you get pricked. When you get bit, when you get shot, when you get stabbed, when you uh, get thrown in prison, when you get fired, when they ramp up child support on you, uh, whatever the case may be, the Lord said you're going to know in that day that his rust is still there. Give me Lamentations 4, 17 through 19. Drop that, King. Uh, Lamentations 4, 17 through 19. Uh -huh. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. Uh -huh. And in our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. In our watching, we've watched for a nation that cannot save us. Nobody comes to help the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. All that facade that they're putting on television, uh -huh. it's all a joke. 
Okay? Every time our brother gets gunned down, you see some mayor, some sh uh, sheriff or chief of the police stand up and say, oh, we feel bad for Tyrone, for Jamal and his family. Our hearts go out. You lying! Okay? This keeps happening. Y'all really wanted to change. Y'all would do some reform in your police department. Okay, why does it never make it to the U.N.? Right, exactly. That's right. Okay? Our people got to wake up and realize what we're dealing with. Okay? The Bible says that these people never trust them. Right. Never trust them. Okay? They shooting us unarmed in the back. A 13-year-old boy just got killed. That's right. 13 years old. Bring How it out, is he right? a threat? Okay? This has to stop, but it's not going to if we don't turn back to the Lord. That's we right. have to turn back to the Lord. We got to start keeping his laws, his statutes, and commandments. You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are chosen by the Most High God. That's right. right. Verse 18. Uh-huh. They hunt our steps. They do what? They hunt our steps. The Bible says these people are hunting our steps. Okay? Everywhere we go, they're killing us. Okay? Over 300 million murders of our people just in this country. And they're still murdering us every day. Okay? I just seen uh, something on YouTube a couple weeks ago about some brother who got hung, hung and ripped up, uh, com completely mutilated, with put swastikas all over his body, uh, I believe it was in Sweden or Norway. No matter where we're at, we're going through it. Okay? Wherever you see the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans that we are suffering as a people. Read. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. We can't go out without worrying about what, what's going to happen to us. Okay? Mm -hmm. These so-called white people, Chinese and Arabs, they don't worry about getting pulled over by the police and getting shot down. That's right. They don't worry about getting fired and being last hired. That's they right. don't worry about getting rejected for bank loans. Uh, and, and, and getting a house or apartment. They don't worry about these things, okay? But the Bible says we can't even go outside our front door without, right. uh, without getting shot down. Read. Our end is near. Our end is near, the Bible says. Read. Our days are fulfilled. This isn't going to go on forever because our Messiah, our Redeemer is coming soon. That's right. He's coming to get his children. Thus saith the Lord. Read. For our end is come. Uh-huh. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They're swifter than the eagles of the heaven. You see, the Edomites are always compared to using the eagle as their representation, as their logo. Nazi Germany, Britain, France, uh, ancient Rome, Grecians, U.S., That's all right. the Ger everywhere the Europeans are, they use the eagle as their representation because the eagle sets their nest on high, mm -hmm. full of pride, thinking that they're better than everybody. Read. They pursued us upon the mountains. Uh -huh. They lay wait for us in the wilderness. They lay wait for us in the wilderness. This is what is they hunt our steps. That's They're right. always seeking to kill us, to oppress us, to keep us subjugated to them. Give That's me right. Psalms 10, 8 through 9. Psalms chapter 10, verses 8 through 9. Uh huh. Uh -huh. This is the book of Psalms. Psalms 8 3. Chapter 10, verses 8 through 9. Read. He sitteth in the lurking places. Of the villages. The Bible says they sit in the lurking places. Read. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. Does he murder the innocent? This is what they have done. Didn't they come over here and make over 500 peace treaties with the Native Americans, so called, and didn't keep one? Uh, Almost genocided our brothers and sisters. That's right. The same thing with us. Okay? The so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, we are brothers. That's right. Okay? Nothing is different with us. Read. His eyes are privily set against the poor. His eyes are always against us. Read. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion uh -huh. in his den. Uh -huh. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. Uh -huh. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. Into his net. And this is what they've done. They have set traps. They, they put out their hand with a knife behind their back. This is what they do. They try to extend their hand to say they want peace. But then they have intentions of war, the Bible says. Get that real quick in uh, Psalms 55, 20, and 21. Psalms 55, 20, and 21. Uh, this is a book of Psalms, chapter 55, 20, and 21. Shalom, brother. Hey, you got a moment for the Word of God? You got a moment for the Word of God? Yeah. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, what's your nationality on your father's side? Uh, Native American. Native American. Okay, all praise to the Most High. 
Have you ever heard that the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are the true biblical Israelites? Uh, yeah, I heard that, um, that Islamic people got here before Christopher Columbus too. Islamic people got here before yeah. Christopher Columbus? Well, do you guys know that you guys were actually the first ones in this land? Yeah. Let me, let's get that real quick. Bring it out, huh? Bring it out, Bring it out, Acts 13. Uh, start at verse 40. Second ad. Okay, I'll praise the man. I'll praise the most high. Shalom, King. Shalom, brother. I'll praise the most high. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 13 and verse 40. Hey, brother, so this, what's your name, by the way? Jody. Jody, I'm Brother Uriel. So our mission is to bring our people back to the truth of who they are. We lost who we are as a people. We think that we're black, Mexican, Native American, all these five words that were placed on us. But the Lord said that we are the children of God, brother. So this is the account of how you guys got to America. Second Ezra 13, 40, read down, I think 48. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 13, and verse 40. Uh-huh. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land uh -huh. in the time of O.C. the king. This is during the time of the Assyrian captivity, when the Assyrians had you guys in slavery. Read. Whom Salamanassar, the king of Assyria, led away captive, uh -huh. and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. And came they into another land. The Bible is giving us the account how you guys got to this land. Are you listening, brother? Yeah, how we got to the land. All right, Jody, I'll pray to you. Okay, read. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. Where never mankind uh, mankind dwelt. Doesn't it sound familiar? The same thing that Christopher Columbus said. Your mic. Mic check, mic check. This is the same thing Christopher Columbus uh, said. Where never mankind dwelt. So this is the account. This is how Christopher Columbus even found how to get to this land. So the Lord is saying that you guys reason amongst yourselves that you would have to leave the Assyrians to keep the laws of God. Read. That they might keep their statutes which they never kept in their own land. Because we were being subjugated to the enemy, to the oppressor at the time. Read. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. Uh-huh. For the Most High when shoot signs for them and held still the blood till they were passed over. So the Lord says that he made it an easy passage for you guys to get to this land from all the way from over there, from the land of Israel. Yeah, so, yeah. during the Ice Age. Well, no, it, it wasn't during the time of the Ice Age. I, that, that history is, is kind of fabricated, brother. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we, we can't believe everything that science or these oppressors have told us. They, they've told us a lot of lies to keep us subjugated to, to falsehood, to make us think that um, what they say is true. This is why you call yourself Native American, and this is why our people call themselves black and Mexican, uh. etc. Okay? We got to realize we've been duped, brother, that we've been bamboozled. Okay? So the Lord is telling us through Ezra here, he's saying that he held the water. In other words, he made the, uh, the, the seas calm. He made it a smooth trip for you guys to get here, fleeing the Assyrians, read. For through that country there was a great way to go, uh -huh. namely of a year and a half. So the Lord is telling us through Ezra here, he says it took you guys a year and a half to get to this land. You listen to him, brother? Yeah, he yeah, said it took you guys a year and a half to get here. And it's interesting because um, modern science even, even has proven this. Not that we sub, uh, submit to the sciences of, of this world, but they've even proven that for a ship to travel from uh, this land during that time, it would take a year and a half, which is very interesting. So the Bible is true. The Bible is speaking the truth, read. And the same region is called Arsaris. Arsaris, so prior to this place being called America, this land was called Arsaris. The scriptures is letting us know about this land before anyone ever came here, read. Then it was they there until the later times. Until the latter times. And this is why you see us all together now. Matter of fact, get that in um, Jeremiah 50 and 33. Jeremiah 15 and 33, I believe it is. Huh. And then give me, give me, uh, Thank you guys. All right, brother. All right. Hey, well, you're not just some Native American, brother. You are from the tribe of Gad, an Israelite, one of God's chosen people. Huh. Yeah, yeah, my friend. 
Hey, Jody. Jody. Hey, Jody. Hey, Jody. Hey, Jody. Hey, Jody. Shalom, King. Hey, did you did you look into that flyer I gave you? You subscribe to the channel? All right, brother, you ain't just a black man. Remember, you're from the tribe of Judah. That's right, nice You're from the tribe of Judah, King. Like, and remember, you got to stop all that stuff that we was talking about last time, all right? Here we are, another one. Oh, praise God. No, I gave him one last time. No. Oh. How did you get your name, King? Thomas. 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 I, I know you from back in the day. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Right. So you know me by my old name, <laughs> right, but I'm, I'm Brother Uriel now. Okay. So, you know, transitioning from the dark to the light. <laughs> praise All right. praises, All praises, praises to the most high. All praises to the most high. Bring it out, huh? All praises. So, the brother, you know, we was going to go into the tribe of Gad, um, but the brother, you know, he departed. So, Lord willing, he'll he'll do some research, look into the flyer, subscribe to the channel, find out who he is as a people. But, yeah, in short, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are the true biblical Israelites, God's chosen people. So to go back to what we was talking about, about these uh, these heathens hunting our steps constantly, okay? Read that out in Psalms 83, 2 through 8. Uh, they lurk our steps, okay? They hunt our steps. They're in the lurking places trying to pursue us to kill us. This is why they're shooting us down every single day. Bring it out, Ock. Read. Psalms 83, 2 through 8. Come on. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. The Bible says our enemies make a tumult. That means a gathering. They come together. Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up my uh, lifted up the head. And they'll, those that hate us have lifted up the head. They think they're better than the children of Israel. They sit on top of the congregation of Israel, literally keeping their foot and knee on our neck. Uh, Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. The Lord said they have taken crafty counsel against the children of God. Read. And consulted against thy hidden, one, uh -huh. hidden ones. Uh -huh. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. And this has been their objective ever, ever since we started breaking the laws of God is to take us out of the remembrance of the world. The Lord warned us about this in Deuteronomy 32 and 26, that he would cease the memory of us, okay? This is why we don't know who we are now, okay? Because the enemy has kept us subjugated to them for many centuries, millenniums. But we got to wake up in these last days. The Bible says in Romans 13, 11, now is high time to wake up out of sleep. That's right. We can read now. We got to be diligent in our studies and our research. We can't just believe everybody. That's right. We got to listen to what does say of the Most High God and His Son. Read. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And this has been their objective, to wipe us out of the world. Read. For they have consulted together with one consent. With one consent. All these nations band together to keep us subjugated to them, to take us out. This is how they were able to oppress the greatest people on earth. They did it together. We weren't standing on the western shores of Africa with a suitcase saying, come get us. No, these nations band together and took us down. This is how this happened. Read. They are confederate against us. They are confederate against us, the Bible says. Read. The tabernacles of Edom the, and the Ish. Hold on, hold on. The tabernacles of Edom, the chief adversary, the so-called white man who's done more rape, rob, and murder right. against the children of Israel, against everybody on this planet, right. but more so against the children of Israel. Come. The Bible says the tabernacles of Edom. Number one, the chief adversary, read. And the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites, which would be your Arabs today, uh-huh. Moab. Moab, which would be your Chinese, read. And the Hagarines. The Hagarines, more Arab, the children of Hagar, read. Jabal. Jabal, read. And and the Japanese, read. And Amalek. And Amalek, the people who are assuming our identity, uh, who are claiming that they are Jews and are not, like it says in Revelation 2 and 9. That's right. They're still the Edomites. The Amalekites are still the children of Esau. That's Those right. people who are living in Israel today, claiming that they're the Israelites and are not. Read. The Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. And this is where you get your Hamites, the African nations who they confuse us with. Read. Assur also jo is joined with them. The Assyrians, uh huh. They have hope in the children of Lot. And this is what they've done. They've tried to murder us, rape, rob, and murder, uh, 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 subjugate us to them for millenniums, y'all. Just in this captivity, just in the American captivity. Lock it, lock it. Lock it. That number let say. Let the motorcycles pass. Uh, uh. I 
came into the house of Jacob. You don't you don't see no no hippie hey, bikers hey, listening hey, to hip hop too often. Did you see? Uh, yeah, they hey, over here bumping some hip hop, some hip. And they old. Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> Sons of Anarchy just pulled up. He said Sons of Anarchy. Man, hey, Cleveland to the house of Jacob for real. Say that Culture vultures, right? Culture vultures. Culture vultures. Hey, Culture vultures. Culture vultures. Culture vultures. Right there. Micah chapter two, one through two. Man, they old heads, man. Right. Yeah, they were. Man, bring that thing out, Ock. The Lord said, death and destruction to those who devise iniquity. Okay, who plot and scheme when they're laying in their beds. Okay, this is what they do. They sit and lay in their beds and they think of ways of doing evil. Oh, oppressing the children of Israel, read. When the morning is light, they practice, they practice it. And then when they wake up in the morning, they bring their thoughts to fruition. They plot and scheme all night and then they act on it, the Bible says, read. Yeah. Because it is in the power of their hands. It's in the power of their hands, remember. Ecclesiastes 4 and 1, it says the oppressor has the power. Job 9 and 24 says the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. The Lord has established it this way. Okay, It's not on accident that these people are doing this. This is all by design. Read. And they covet fields. And they covet fields. In other words, they take everything from everybody. All these lands that they claim and own now.